Hey guys, I'm Sen on PS4 and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be another episode on how to siege like a boss. Uh, this will be an ongoing series throughout my YouTube channel where you, the viewers, submit your request for the upcoming episode by leaving a comment down below. Uh, the most uh, liked comment will then be used for next week's episode. Um, so as you heard, that is a weekly episode or series that I'm doing. Um, just recently started this. Uh, I read through all the comments, guys, and uh, the reason I chose uh, Ashtek Aston's um, comment is simply because Ash and Thermite um, is going to get a, um, a little bit of change, I think, in the upcoming patch or uh, in Operation Health, somewhere in op Operation Health. Um, I, I think the smoke grenades is going to be taken away, so that pretty much changes, of, changes my uh, setup that I would have done for them. So I decided to do Aztec Aston's uh, comment. He asks that uh, how to fuse like a boss on Chalet. He also asked for my favorite fuse map. Uh, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm just gonna focus on Chalet. Uh, this video will probably not be that long, guys. So uh, let's get started. When it comes to um, playing fuse on Chalet, you cannot really go wrong, but you have to be really smart in playing uh, fuse properly on this map. So here's the thing, uh, most uh, players will always take Trophy and uh, Kitchen, which is, uh, Trophy is right here, and Kitchen is obviously uh, below uh, Master Bedroom. So, um, I'm, I'm going to first tell you your main objective, and then I'm going to give you some just uh, basic cluster positions that, uh, or locations that could, uh, that could help you a little bit. So here's the thing, your main focus um, is to get as soon as possible inside the building if they are defending uh, kitchen and trophy um, so when you when do you, um, when so when the round starts yeah uh, you need to get in as soon as possible the reason for this is um, chalet is one of those maps especially kitchen and trophy where some people will still be doing preparations um, downstairs simply because um, uh, sometimes the the preparation can be some somewhat um, complicated and how to do a perfect setup on defense so the thing is if you rush in as quick as possible uh, your first area that you that you want to be um, controlling is around somewhere in the master bedroom this is the area that you are want to control so i'm going to show you the reason for this a lot of people they go for the hatch they jump down to rotate back and uh, a lot of movement and things will be going on in this corridor in this hallway somewhere over here they're gonna do some bar wire. they're doing some reinforcements they're still putting down some bar wire, maybe ADSs um, maybe uh, someone is going on here checking cams you know so this is the area that you want to have control of and cluster as soon as possible since a lot of people are still rotating from the kitchen to trophy over here to get into proper positions and things like that so just a ping above just a randomly <clears throat> I'm just gonna bridge here to uh, show you guys something okay so as you can see uh, a lot of times people will be stuck in those corner over there say the trophy window is open so they will tuck themselves in that corner over here so what you want to come and do is make sure you do not cluster on this thing over here this uh, this bulk otherwise it's not gonna work yeah so what you do is um, clusters go from right to left as far as I uh, can remember so what you do is you uh, just on this corner of this white, ca white couch you cluster as soon as possible uh, so when the round starts you rush towards this uh, door over here and you press the cluster the reason I'm playing shield guys do not ever hesitate in playing shield with fuse I know it's AK-12 is really good but do not hesitate in picking the shield this pistol in my opinion is the best pistol in the game it is a really uh, quick rate of fire it is good damage good reload speed everything is really good you can put on a laser sight so the, uh, this pistol is absolutely deadly guys so do not underestimate fuse while playing shield so we have our cluster over here let me open the, uh, this drop okay so a lot of, as I said, a lot of movement will be going on throughout uh, the start of the round in this area over here. So you want to come and cluster uh, in that corner of the white couch. As you can see, it's absolutely devastating for anyone 
um, in this uh, position that's still busy rotating up and down or back and forth from trophy to kitchen. Um, <clears throat> so as I said guys, do not hesitate taking the shield. Uh, the shield is just going to help you uh, come in a lot easier as quick as possible. I mean, so that, because uh, the thing is, yeah, if you have a, just a normal weapon, you have nothing to protect yourself, you're fused, so that makes you really vulnerable operator since you're a three, uh, three armor uh, and one speed operator so you're really slow so a shield is going to help you a lot while playing fuse uh, on some match so the thing is when you punch a window and you do not have a shield uh, someone is just going to peek this or peek from bathroom or something they're going to maybe even shoot and that's going to stop you from going in whereas if someone is shooting at you you have a shield you can easily make a call out and also just push him really slowly oh well i just dropped so and then you can make a call out uh, for your teammates uh, to push them so that will just uh, help you to get in as soon as possible if the hatch is breached you need to focus on this you come over here i do open up uh, a lot of times when i play fuse i open up this hole over here so i do not have to rotate around that and expose myself from the library uh, hallway so i just open up the office and then you can uh, just easily get into office uh, where the dining area is down below so the thing is if the hatch is open you need to focus on this if the hatch is open obviously the people are gonna go at the back of kitchen or they're gonna go on dining hall and they're gonna watch from dining or from back to back of the kitchen for the hatch if someone is dropping so this is this is a basic thing if the hatch is open people tend to fall back and they go especially towards dining where you want to cluster so what you do is on the corner of the mat so you wait for Ibana or thermite to breach the hatch yeah because <clears throat> obviously this is what happens right if the hatch is breached people are gonna fall back they're either gonna, either gonna push back to kitchen they're gonna watch the hatch or they're gonna uh, watch uh, at the back from library which is the most common positions to be or they're just gonna go to trophy but uh, this is the, this is something you will, will not know always where they're going so clusters is uh, sort of like a luck thing but you can um, you, you can predict their movement so this is the thing um, a lot of people they will just be watching the hatch when you drop the hatch so they will probably be in this position over here so we placed our cluster next to that corner of the mat make sure you remember these guys as you can see it's absolutely devastating for anyone uh, in dining over here and also if they tuck themselves around this corner if they were watching these hallways over here they will also get clustered very easily Okay guys, so let's say you know they're gonna go downstairs and you decided to take fuse. Um, in my opinion, you do not have to necessarily take the, um, the, the shield to get in as soon as possible. The thing is, you wanna wait for thermite to breach the garage or to breach the wine cellar. You wanna make sure the roamers is cleared out before you start moving in um, to actually benefit from your clusters. If fuse dies, there's nothing to benefit from, so you need to stay as long uh, alive as possible so take the time and join for your teammates it's it's a good thing to do join for your teammates and uh, get the roamers make sure you help them uh, get the roamers by joining for for your teammates for like ash or twitch or sledge anyone that needs to push the roamers help them guys do the joining work as soon as uh, your team manage to um to uh, get control of top floor and most of the ground level area that's your time to shine okay so let's uh, let's do a simple one if your team is pushing garage okay you're gonna want to cluster uh in this corner over here not exactly on the corner itself because there's sometimes a lot of metal so what you do is you just cluster sort of away from the corner <clears throat> and this will uh, absolutely destroy anyone in garage so this is the thing um make sure you get uh, you do the droning for your teammates so you uh, guys can get rid of the roamers so that would make it a lot easier for you to cluster safely or just have a lot of teammates with you say like ash or twitch or sledge someone to help you watch your flanks so when you cluster in that corner as you can see this last cluster over here exploded right on my ping basically on the ping and, and uh, the cluster radius um, has been enhanced or increased recently so this will absolutely destroy bandit batteries ads's every anything that needs to defend this garage will not be there anymore so so you push from this window over here directly underneath you
This is when all the room is cleared out. Yeah, you need to make sure about this. Um, I'm not gonna stand over there. I'll kill myself. Okay. So basically, we're clustering in connector. This is the thing. If garage is breached, guys. If garage is breached, what happens? People tend to go into connector or they hide behind this corner over here and they wait for the plant. Uh, so this is a really common area for any defender to go. You'll probably almost always get a kill if the garage is breached. If the garage is not breached, people are necessarily not going to be here. So you need to wait for the garage to breach so people can tuck themselves into connector. So when you breach or when you cluster, as you can see, there will absolutely be no one left. You can either, either if you want to, as you can see, mine went all over here. So what you can do is just make sure you can uh, get it m maybe a little bit closer to the hatch. Um, this will just um, spread them out more evenly. Uh, so yeah, just try to get it a little bit closer to the hatch. Also, same thing guys, when the roamers is, has been taken out, when it's a little bit safer for you to go in or if you have teammates to help you uh, watch your flanks. Okay, so this is the thing, when your team is pushing wine cellar, there's two positions that, uh, that enemies tend to go to, um, that's really common, and I'll quickly show this. The two most common positions for um, any defenders to defend or to be in when that wall, specifically that wall, is breached, and sometimes this wall, but especially that wall, when this wall is breached, uh, defenders will tuck themselves in this corner over here, and they will tuck themselves either in this corner over here or this corner over here watching the wall as you come in so this is the thing this is where my clusters are exactly so when your team is pushing wine cellar and this wall is breached so you could put your cluster uh, next to that carpet and the couch so between these green boxes and the couch just in front of the mat in the middle of the lobby pretty easy to remember again after the wall is breached you go put your cluster over there and you will most likely get anyone behind that cover or behind uh, that one over there so this one was a little bit far, far away from this position but since the radius of the clusters has been increased you will probably injure this guy most likely even kill since the guy will not be sitting here he, he needs to he needs to watch something so he will probably you know be around over here uh, if this wall is breached so as you can see this will absolutely destroy anyone in this common known area when it comes to playing fuse uh, it's always nice to get a cluster kill but that's not always going to be the case clusters is especially good to uh, destroy any bar power and to make it a little bit easier for your team to push or to progress uh, forward towards the objective so the thing is for example when the defenders are going downstairs most of the time this hallway will be full of bar power so easy way to do this is you enter through this door or this window you put a bridge over here make it easy rotate someone watching this flank or you yourself can even watch it so you just go through uh, this is this is sort of when the Romus has been taken out so you don't want to necessarily rush this unless your whole team is pushing this area you have Hibana pushing this area someone pushing library as well, it, this will make it then a little bit easier so when you come to this corner over here next to the jukebox always remember uh, wherever you cluster uh, the direction that the clusters will be going is from right to left in a line come to the jukebox over here you're looking straight to the dartboard make sure you just um, you just check where this big bulk is because you do not want to cluster on this otherwise it will definitely not be uh, that effective so what you do is then you just shoot a little bit to the left side so you can expose this uh, big uh, piece of wood over here so you make sure you don't cluster onto it and then you just go next to it and this will uh, most likely destroy a lot of these power files and this hallway as you can see it covers up the entire hallway which is uh, quite a long distance actually it's 10 meters so you can absolutely get rid of anything of here making a montana push or anything that you uh, that you were planning uh, it's just easy sprint through all the way then say you have an ash player or something that needs to rush or wants to rush this area just go to that corner over here make sure you shoot a couple of bullets to expose uh, this big wood plank and uh, make sure you cluster next to it and not right on top of it guys this is uh, pretty much it i hope this is going to help you guys uh, please uh, leave a comment for next week's episode on what you want to see to uh, how to do like a boss make sure you are specific i'll catch you guys again and uh, thanks for watching make sure you cluster on this corner of the couch as quick as possible 
so that will absolutely destroy everything in that hallway that we previously discussed if you want to uh, cluster the the kitchen you cluster looking at this big window over here and that will um, go from all the way from the the start from the fridge all the way at the back towards the microwave area on the hallway right on the ping just in front of this mat over here so what you can do is you can make your retardation uh, hole after the hatch is breached remember after the hatch is breached come to this corner over here of the mat and this will absolutely destroy everything um, in the back of the dining area uh, behind the table where they will be watching the hatch from and even far on the right side by the double doors uh, also will get some uh, players over there this will also destroy any bar fire at the front of uh, this big double doors so let me just show you as you saw that first cluster next to the white couch as you can see it absolutely destroys this uh, entire hallway so the chance of you getting someone uh, it's pretty good if you want to do a second cluster yeah just go for it you're probably going to catch someone at some stage as you can see there's black spots over here this is the entire kitchen um, uh, I almost want to say hallway but um, this is this entire kitchen like say they always hide from uh, this window over here right they duck themselves in this corners over here you will definitely or maybe they're rotating back and forth from trophy to kitchen you'll probably get someone I would say in this uh, area as well as you can see all these black spots is uh, where your clusters are going and then at the back after the hatch is breached as you can see all the black spots uh, again as you can see this will get this entire um, back of dining as, as they are watching um, the drop over here or anything that comes from the hallway so guys I hope you enjoy this video uh, just to also recap uh, on the on the downstairs attack guys make sure you drone for your teammates if you play fuse uh, so it, it's just gonna make it a lot safer for you when you do use your clusters uh, at the later stage of a round say there's about 1.30 or 1 minute left then it's a good time to use your clusters because then everyone will be uh, tucked in their corners uh, so yeah just remember if you want to push garage uh, help the teammates by using your drone and uh, to get the roamers and then you cluster looking towards this white hole over here you cluster right in this corner um, if you want to uh, cluster the two common positions that I mentioned in my video um, the, in wine cellar if you guys are pushing wine cellar after the hatch has been breached on the right side of this door in uh, in dining so what you come and do is you can cluster right over here between the white box and the white couch just in front of this mat over here you cluster uh, on this ping looking towards this wall over here and you'll get someone behind uh, this spot over here this spot over here always camping and also the guy that's camping behind uh, this wine barrels um, right underneath me over here okay.